Right, today we've got a treat for you today. We've got these beautiful spiced Indian potatoes. Beautiful potatoes there. We've got um, red capsicum and aubergines and all these spices in there. We've got turmeric, mustard seeds, and these curry leaves as well. These are great, so much flavor in these. So fantastic potato dish. And then we've got these beautiful rangatiki chicken, um, corn-fed chicken thighs on top. So it's all gonna bake together in one pot, it's great. And you can also do this recipe, just the potatoes if you want, or put it, mix it and match with anything else you wanna do. So a little bit later on in the show, I'm gonna show you how to create this fantastic meal. Mark, you've got an Indian themed dish for us. Yep, that's right. So it's all based around these potatoes and then we're serving it with the rangatiki oh. chicken on top, which uh, is great, oh, great. No. Um, Great pairing with um, sort of all these uh, sort of uh, curry sort of flavours and Indian flavours with chicken. Well, just taking a look at this board, it looks fantastic. And then add on top of that a corn-fed free-range rangatake chicken thighs. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, you quite like the thighs, don't you? Because it keeps nice and moist when yeah, you're cooking. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a great. Uh, it's a great piece of the chicken to uh, cook. You know, it's a bit more forgiving than the breast. Yes. But uh, and, and a little bit tastier as well. Nice. So okay. Well, let's get flavor. cracking because it looks. It looks like we've got a bit to do here. Well, yeah. It looks like there's a lot of ingredients, and there are a lot of ingredients. But but it is pretty simple. Good. One of those one pot uh, wonders which you love. I do, yes. Less right. dishes, easy to make. Right, so get your potatoes, peel your potatoes, wash them, and yep. then we'll just dice them up. So roughly the sort of same size, so they're all gonna cook evenly. And we're gonna blanch them first, right? So I've just got some uh, water on here. Yeah. So I'm gonna pop the potatoes in, salted water, bring it up to the boil, simmer it, and we're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes. So we just start in the cooking process for the potatoes. We don't want to cook them all the way. Right. Because all the vegetables are going to go together and cook in the oven. Right. So the potatoes are harder. They're going to take longer to cook than these vegetables. Okay, here. so you, you've got to make sure that these are all the right size, okay? That's what you've got to do first. Yeah, and we're, and we're just... Cooked unevenly. Exactly. So we're going to start the cooking process. So we're going to, and we're going to cook, cook, roughly cut all the vegetables the same... Yes, I noticed that, yes. Uh, sizes. Size, yep. Okay, nice. Ooh, a bit of aubergine there. Bit of oh, aubergine, not heard that for a while. Yeah. It's like an <laughs> eggplant over here. <laughs> I don't know why you'd call it an eggplant. It's got no resemblance to I an know, eggplant. I know, why oh, no. do we call it an eggplant? But uh, a question. Maybe, maybe we've struggled to say aubergine. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Ask Kiwi. So let's make it easy. Okay, right. what's that? Right, a little Shall bit we? of uh, green chilli. So I like to put a little bit in, just so it roasts yes, we know the flavours. Yes, yes, <laughs> Get some spice in there. Right, and then I've got some tomatoes as well. I'm going to put some tomatoes in. So I'll leave these quite chunky. Mm -hmm. And then as it cooks in the oven, so it's going to be like in the oven for about um, about an hour or so, you okay. know, until the, until the uh, chicken's nice and baked and all those flavours sort of permeate through the vegetables and potatoes. But then as it cooks, you know, because there's a lot of moisture in the uh, tomatoes, um, it, they're going to sort of mush up and just concentrate in flavour, so it's great. You'll get these nice, beautiful little uh, uh, flavoured pockets as you eat it. OK, speaking of the oven, should we be preheating it as we speak? Yeah, yep, yep, yep cool. preheat it, so 180 yep. degrees, get it all ready to go nice. in. So whilst it's warming up, you can do all this. OK, so the onions as well, you've chopped at the same size. If you yep. take a look at this dish, you can see that every vegetable component we've got there, very much the same size. Right, so I'm going to give that a light seasoning now. Apart from the chilli, thank goodness. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> big chunks. <laughs> Woo! Right, so that's the, uh, that's the start of the process. We've got the potatoes in here, so after about 10 minutes, when they just start to sort of cook on the outside, we're going to drain them off, we're going to pop them in there as well, and then we're going to make a spice mix. So we're going to cook that out in a pan, and then we're going to fold it through all the potatoes and the vegetables a little bit later, and then we're going to serve it with some nice yoghurt, which yeah. I'm going to start making now. So we've just got some plain yoghurt. Yes. And then I've got some uh, ginger. I'm going to chop some ginger through it. Got some lemon juice and some mint, and we're going to blitz all that down together. Okay, that sounds like an interesting mix: ginger and yogurt. Yeah, no, just just a little bit. You know, it's not going to be like full gingery, right? But it's just going to give you that little bit of extra flavour there. I mean, you can, you know, if you don't want to put ginger in or don't want to put any chilli in, you can just put a little bit of um, lemon juice, yogurt, and lots of mint, and just blend it together. I mean, that's great. What is the secret, you reckon, Mark, to a great Indian dish? Is it the vegetables? Is it the spices? What do you think oh, is the, the most important component? It's got to be the blend of spices. Okay. And you've got to cook them out. You know, wow. we're going to do that in the second part. You've got to cook them out, control that heat, and bring out the flavours of those spices to really maximise it. Okay, I've got a question for you, Mark. Yep. Okay, do you shop at local stores? Oh, definitely, definitely. I okay, love so local you, shops. Okay, good. So you would know the names of your local store owners? Well, I certainly do. Yeah. Nathan. Nathan. Yeah, yeah. From? From Sunhill Fresh in Oraki. Okay, and more? That's uh, it, pop. isn't it? <laughs> 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 when you find a good one, you only need one. That's right. Uh, we're up to the spice making part now, so this is important, isn't it? Yeah, right. So get a pan, medium heat, l nice bit of uh, oil in there. Yeah, that's and a good bit of I've oil. And then I've got some uh, 
Yeah, but we're going to flavour the oil. It's going to bring out all the flavours and it's going to coat all the vegetables. Oh, There's no oil in there. Okay. So we've got some mustard seeds in here. Mustard seeds, yes. And then curry leaves as well. Right. It's dried. You were raving about them before. Full of flavour. Oh, massive, massive amount of flavour. And this is what you want to do. So just keep it over that medium heat. Yeah. And we just want to start toasting them and caramelising them. Mm. Got some turmeric as well. I can smell that already. Pop in. Okay, so this is an Indian dish. This is a very important component of this dish. You've got to get this. Right, and then I've also got some ginger and garlic. So I've just chopped it finely, but you yep. can grate it if you want. It's like really good oh, if yeah. you just do it over the grater. It's really fast nice. and goes straight in there. Well, it's, I quite like to just uh, chop it so you get those little nuggets as well for yeah. it. Yeah. And then the coriander as well. So when you buy coriander, buy the whole whole um, stalk. So you've got the leaves, which we're going to garnish the dish with. Yes. And then we've got the um, the roots here at the bottom and a little bit of the stalk. And I'm going to chop that up and I'm going to pop that in there as well because that's okay. going to give us a great flavour. Nice fresh flavour in there. Oh, I'm starting to smell goodness. Okay, <laughs> and this is good too because we're not wasting any of the coriander, are we? No, exactly. So you're going to use the whole lot. Okay, cool. Let's give that a bit of a mix. Right, so save the leaves for later. Yep. All right, have a look at our potatoes. I think that's just about done, actually. We've blanched the potatoes, if you've just joined us, so about 10 minutes, just to soften them up slightly. Yeah, so you can just have a look. It's just starting to get sort of soft on the edges. It's yep. just a head, to get a head start of the cooking for the potatoes. So, you know, after an hour, everything's cooked together. Okay, good. That's smelling good, too. It's coming together. One pot dish, this. So There you go. So, if you've got a little bit more time, you yep. can put them in a colander and then just pop the colander over your hot pan after you've drained it off the heat and then it will just sort of steam dry so you won't get any excess liquid in there. Nice. All right, so you can smell all those flavours there. Can, so it's curry leaves. Oh, it's mm, great, isn't beautiful. it? So probably about sort of two, three minutes just to bring out all those flavours. You will start smelling it after sort of a minute or so. And then all you do is turn it off the heat, let it cool down slightly and then we'll add it to all our potatoes. Okay, nice. You're happy with that? Yeah, yeah, Smells so I'm happy good. with that. So you can pour that on there and give it a really good stir. Okay, cool. You can do that now. Okay. Usually you let this cool down a bit. Though. We would let this yeah. cool down, but it's never any time. No, no time <laughs> here. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. And with this um, chicken thighs, as you see, we could use chicken breast. Um, yep. But, you know, is it important to get the size of your meat right in this dish? Well, we're going to leave it whole. The difference between uh, chicken thighs and chicken breast Give it a really good stir and then pop it onto the tray. Is um, it's just we're gonna have to change the uh, the cooking times. <laughs> right, okay. Great stir and <laughs> beautiful. Right, onto the tray. Onto the tray. And then so spread it out nice and evenly. And then we're just gonna lay the chicken on top. So I'm gonna lay it flat. And then as it bakes, you know, you get beautiful sort of. Mm. You know, you'll get that nice sort of, not crispy, but sort of, you know, textured skin at the top. You know, it's going to be nice and juicy in the centre. And then all those flavours are going to almost steam through the uh, chicken as it cooks. So about an hour in the oven or until it's ready. And then here's our yoghurt, which, which we just blitzed. Yep. <clears throat> so that's going to be really nice on the side as well. Mm, and then finish with some fresh coriander, a little bit more chilli if you like it spicy. Nice. And you are good to go. Right, well, we will see the finished product very soon. Thank you very much, Mark. Go to thecafe.co.nz if you want that recipe. That oh, smells beautiful. Mm, just putting that chicken. So you can see that chicken, it's still nice and moist there. You've got all the vegetables, there's heaps of flavour coming out of here. Serve your yoghurt on the side, and there is a beautiful hearty dish for oh. this time of the year. Look yeah. at that. Okay, hey, um, congratulations to the Lewisham Awards. You were nominated oh, for Best Chef. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Yes. Yay. Let us know how that goes.